the recording. Mm-hmm. I told you this, right? No. The, one of the nights I got drunk at the brew house, oh, God, Greg, let's go. <laughs> I'm in the Uber home, me and my mm-hmm. lady. And, you know, I'm, I'm yapping. I'm <laughs> chirping a little. The guy was, the guy was listening to stand up, I think. And I was like, uh, I do stand up. And I was, and then he was like, Oh yeah, what's your name? I was like, my name's, Sh-. I said it like 10 times. I was like, my name is Shane Gillis. I got fired from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> do you remember the guy who got fired from that lived in Mechanicsburg from Saturday Night Live? I said it. Yeah. Clear as day, like 10 times. And then, then I went on to like trash comics, I think a couple times. <laughs> I was like hammered. He was like, what about this yeah. guy? I was like, nah, that guy fucking kind of sucks. <laughs> this guy, this guy's cool. I was actually happy because I did compliment a lot of comics. Sick. Which is usually not what I'm doing. Usually yeah. I'm getting drunk and I'm like, I hate them. Dude, you're sipping on the haterade. But uh, he gets us to my parents' house. <laughs> gets to my parents' house and he goes, by the way, I uh, filmed all that and I put it on YouTube. What? <laughs> I was like, dude, what? What, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Don't do that. What? Do and then that. my girlfriend sits up and she's like, I'll fucking sue the shit out of you. And I was Good like, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Good girl. You can't. This guy's obviously a psycho. Mm, she started to bark, though. <clears throat> she she started barking. He was like, actually, due to the laws, you're in my vehicle. Like, he had, he had the response yeah. to that. Like, you cannot sue me. Damn. Yeah. And then I was like, he was like, just say the word. I won't do it. I was like, dude, you'll fuck my life up if you post this. Please don't post this. <laughs> He's like, okay, I won't. And he drove off. Oh, man. So who knows? That was a fun one. To, the anxiety of that waking up the next day, just like, oh, fuck, I forgot. There's going to be a YouTube video of me. Socks. <laughs> trashing, <laughs> trashing comics. How many stars did you give him? <laughs> I didn't give him any stars. It's like, you gotta give him, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I probably gave him five. I always give him five. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got to expect insane. it. You just got to expect to be on camera now. You got to like report that to. That's Uber, why. Dude. That's why I don't jerk off in my basement. <laughs> I assume I'm somehow like yeah. I have something's open, and I'm like, yeah. nope, not doing it, not doing it. Can you <laughs> imagine that, dude? That was that was a nightmare. Yeah, that's that kind of thing. Think of like being drunk in the Uber. <laughs> And someone being like, this is going on YouTube. And it's just you like, I was on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> like, it would have been so bad. I Where mean, was the party? Funny. Where was the party? Were you guys spraying champagne after the, the I was victory? the brew house. After the fucking what 5A victory? victory? Oh, the 6X. Six, six, six. 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 Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. Dude. I'm sorry. Did, did your dad team win? Yeah. Yeah, they did win. Yeah, yeah you guys are celebrating. <laughs> the team airballed a buzzer beat. <laughs> and then Phil were, took home the victory. Were, were the, was their team down and came back? Was that your team? Or Phil's, team? Phil's team was leading the entire, oh, okay. entire right. game. Okay, all right. That's just leadership, dude. Yeah. That's just leadership. Yeah. He was giving him hell on the bench. <laughs> Does he run his own for real? Does he run his own? Or I, don't he, I, I, I don't know. Boxing one? It looked like it was man. It looked like it was man to man. Damn, but, dude. But, oh, dude. The uh, Yeah, that's terrifying, dude. So what's going on with the fellowship? Well, f- first of all, with RFK Jr., he oh, had yeah. a party at his house, and a- it leaked that he apparently it said that like he required uh, vaccination status. No, vaccination He's status a fraud. Well, here's what happened, dude. He came out. And he apparently his wife sent out invitations. He didn't know, so he said <laughs> nobody was checked. He goes, sometimes you're not the boss of your own house. There's nothing he could do about dude, it, dude. The guy's building like a fucking yeah. national movement. His wife. <laughs> Fucking almost ruined him. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Well, I think we should do it. And he's just like, oh, I don't, I'm under so much scrutiny. Take it off the fucking invite. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, uh, he was about to start listening to Knocked Loose. True. He, he might start listening to Knocked Loose. Pissed. He might be down on his luck a little. He might be a little sad and heartbroken. Yeah, do you melancholy. imagine just being like. He's been stricken down. I was, I, I'm was. i coming out of my melancholy slightly. Yeah. Are you really? I was stricken down for a couple of weeks there. Yeah, that's the worst. Bro. I'll be back. I'll be back into it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you always. I live there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we always make our way back to it eventually. But yeah, dude. kind of just got to greet it. And at this point, it's just kind of like whatever. Yeah. I just, I just greet it, dude. And it's I'm like, dude. yes, man. I was thinking this. I think you were like this, dude. I was thinking about happiness and how like happiness isn't like the the end goal. Happiness is the journey. You know, profound. Yeah, uh, <laughs> dude, you know I'm trying, dude. Spot on, bro. I'm fucking play we can't boy. all be philosophers, <laughs> you know. Spot on, bro. You're telling me it's not the journey, it's just the path. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, man. he's saying it's not the end result. You don't wind up in happiness. Happiness yeah. is on the way there. Yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't just listen to the end of the last note of a piece of music, bro. You yeah. listen to the whole thing. Because like, the end is clear, dead. Bro. Loud and clear. Talking about the end is dead. The end is dead. What's that? Like dead, like you're dead, like that's the end. Yeah, for yeah. sure, okay. for sure. Yeah, you know, you know we die. Elaborate <laughs> on this. We Please. die. I don't know, dude. Elaborate a little more. <laughs> like I don't know. Don't I'm touch so- that. 
was like, <laughs> so you're Elaborate. telling us, hold up, so we die? Nobody, what'd you say? You're telling us we die. You sure yeah. about that? Yeah. We die, dude. What? What do you mean? What do you mean, though? The happiness is on the way. Think, give me an yeah, example. What are you yeah. thinking? Like, uh, like you can't always be happy. For I don't sure. know. <laughs> no, you're, you're, on yeah, you're on to something. Keep going. You're on to something. Yeah, I can't always be happy because, like, then you won't know anything else. Yeah, like happiness comes from knowing the other things. It's almost like sunshine wouldn't be so great if it wasn't for rainy days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah dude. So what else yeah, you got? Dude. When did you realize this after the breakup? No, dude, I've been stewing on this for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, really, I've been stewing on it. So, so what type of sad things are you thinking about? Did you ever see a yin yang? <laughs> Let me introduce you in a yin yang. <laughs> so, what type of rainy days were you talking, dude? About? I've, I've been talking shit on Jay Z a little bit. Why? <sighs> Fuck Jay Z, dude. I'm with dude, Nas, dude. Fuck Jay Z. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be. I feel like. I feel like Jay Z, like he like uh, he like uses black people to get wealthy. He's always used black people to get wealthy. He was a drug dealer. Like he's always used black people to get wealthy. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You're growing. And then yeah. <laughs> and Soon, dude. Kanye West is a slave master <laughs> or Uncle whoa, Tom. Whoa, 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 Kanye whoa, West whoa, Uncle whoa, Tom, dude. Whoa. Why, dude? This is all from what he said. Like he tweeted like like, uh, record contracts are modern day slavery it's modern day slavery mm -hmm. and then you think about it he signed a bunch of people to stupid def jam record deals and then when he was on that drink champs podcast he was like i don't give a fuck about all those people i signed they were just so i could get out my shit okay yeah he's a uncle tom why does that make him white it doesn't make him white it makes him an uncle tom he's wait why like, does that make him an uncle tom because he's like he's like because he's not He's not, he's like using the, he's you, he's like the, okay, not, a, it's like multi level marketing. He's the, yeah, MLM what's that have to do with it? Why are you comparing that to being white, dude? dude Maybe he's just, there's being no a jerk. whiteness in Uncle Tom. Yes, it is. No, it's not. That's the whole crux of the thing. No, yeah, when you're Uncle Tom, you're like a dude who you like fucking dancing, you know? For you know, who? The, the man, dude. <laughs> he's dancing for Rick Rubin, dude. <laughs> he's a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> all right those are just some hard feelings i've been trying to come to terms with recently yeah that you don't like jay-z or kanye west no i love them <laughs> okay yeah well then i didn't understand no yeah, I'm completely confused no you know sometimes love comes from hate true that <laughs> hold on a sec dude the people what? you love can be Bro. wrong too what you ever think about this <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> sometimes like if if you have good things, you wouldn't appreciate them as much if you Dude. didn't go through hardships to attain them. Yeah. <laughs> what, dude? And what the Kanye, fuck? No, Lemire, you'd, you'd be too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be too powerful. Dude. Do not. <laughs> go ahead, dude. Toss it on. Behold. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. What were you calling oh, Kanye? Dude. Throw it on. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on, dude. I'm not Kanye, dude. I'm not him. I'm not him, dude. I read it. I read a. Um, I was like I reading an article. For some reason, I canceled the Atlantic. They still send me shit. There was a guy. Their new thing now is saying that January 6th was just a warm up, bro. Yeah, I've heard this. <laughs> this was Lamar. You'd actually dig this take Trial from the, you'd dig this take from the Atlantic. So they're they're saying. Uh, so they're basically they're like saying like democracy is going to die. Everyone's saying it's democracy is dying. Democracy is you know it's flickering out, and the reason is it's because of Was the it white. Was never really alive, bro? Get this, dig this. This is the this is the staff writer from Atlantic. <laughs> democracy is dying because the right is afraid of it, in like an imaginary sense. Oh, man. Oh, whoa. This is man, the deepest dude. podcast we've ever fucking done. That was, that was, I'm reading the thing and I was just like, dude, are you fucking serious? He's like, and it's dying because the right thinks it's dying when it's not, but it, that is dying now. It's like, bro, are you guys fucking serious? Yeah, we need stuff? to punch some of these guys in the belly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not for physical violence, but there's a couple guys that need it. Not even punch them. Just hold them down. Give them a strawberry on their belly. Yeah. <laughs> just let them know who's boss, but in a fun, ticklish way. Like maybe a British bulldog. Like run from behind them, grab their head, and jump. <laughs> no violence, but strawberries. Yeah, I would catch them, and I wouldn't rock them. I'd would you catch give them a strawberry? Oh, so like for when, sure. Is a strawberry like when you hit them like this? No, no, no. Strawberry. It's a rabbit punch. Like when oh. you. <laughs> okay. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a strawberry? Yeah. See how it makes you feel? It makes you laugh. 
<laughs> True. Uh, giving strawberries is very fun. Tickling them <laughs> would be nice. You've been giving them strawberries. Uh, yeah, dude. she laughs. Dude, yeah. Very hard. It makes me feel good. Yeah, if you give a baby one on their belly, dude, it's they're pretty yeah. excited about yes. that. And then there's other places you can give them strawberries, and that's funny. Too. About your girlfriend? <laughs> yes. When it's your girlfriend, when it's your lady lover. No, nah, dude, I'm Loud a playboy. Just be giving out pussy strawberries every day. Well, that was the joke I was kind of <laughs> I know. insinuating. I know. Do you? I'm sorry. All right, I'll fucking. Can I eat the rest of this edible? Yeah, do it. Do <laughs> it. Munch it up. Please do. Yeah, let me know. So I wasn't I wasn't being critical of you there. Yeah, we were just messing around. So you, you're telling me if I'm sad, it's only gonna make me happier once I'm happy. Yeah. Yes. I'm out well. Dude. You ever listen to uh there. Damn, I'm slipping, I'm falling. I can't get yeah, up. Dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I I mean I had this revela- revelation in about fifth grade. The school bus <laughs> just looking out the window. <laughs> It's like, damn, dude, I'm so down right now. <laughs> it's going to get better, though. Dude, this is the first breakup where my girlfriend, like, lived. <laughs> like, you lived yeah. together? No, like, like survived. Oh, yeah, you had that yeah. girl. LaMare was so close to getting the elusive sex one time, and a girl fucking died. Oh, God, man. Which was pretty, mm-hmm. Not no offense to her or you, but it was funny. It was hilarious. From an onlooker's perspective, because <laughs> the whole time we were friends, I, we were always cheering on LaMare to finally have sex, and finally it was going to happen, and... God needed her back. God needed his angel. God bro. needed her, his angel. Did you know she was uh, dying? Yeah. No, it was sudden. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, did she know she was dying? It no, was like, dude, it was very sudden. Like an accident? No, like uh, she had pancreatitis. And she would go to the hospital back and forth, but they would just send her home with like goop their drink. Yeah. What? Yeah. So you guys were full on like fault in the stars. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. And you honor her now mm-hmm. by making jokes about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I don't like this new Lamar, dude. <laughs> yeah, too many cut. He has fucking puss fluenza. You got, yeah, you <laughs> definitely have fucking puss fluenza. Dude, just warped my brain, dude. <laughs> Who do you, who's a, more of a big shot now? You or Sean? What do you mean? Who's the big time dude, shot people caller? People fucking love Sean, dude. Yeah, they love Sean. Yeah. Gardini who's the biggest movie. shot caller in Philadelphia right now? That's a good question. Gardini or Lamar? Lemare. No. Not me, dude. Who's no, who's the top dog deeds. of the scene? Be honest. <laughs> Joe Murdoch. <laughs> Joe Murdoch. Oh, he's oh, a yeah, king. Murder. True. Murder is king. <laughs> Who else? Who's the true king? Naeem? You <laughs> fuck you up. I've already beaten Naeem. I've already slayed him. <laughs> Wait, how did you slay Naeem? I slayed Naeem. Lemare tapped out Naeem. Yeah. What? In a wrestling yeah. match in Sydney's kids' playroom. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. pretty big. <laughs> Naeem's strong. Yeah, yeah, pretty no, it was big like dude. 30 minutes, wasn't it, Lemur? Yeah, it was a while. Oh, he you just hit outlasted him, the... him. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, you Damn, you hit him with the Mark Henry. Fucking, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual chocolate. <laughs> man alive. But we're supposed to box. He's a boxer. That's not going to be good. Yeah, no, it's not going to be. He's a That's going to hurt. Four. It's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. He's definitely going to want to box you after you beat him at wrestling. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going to tag you in like the belly a lot. <laughs> oh. The body shots are going to hurt so bad. Uh <laughs> Yeah, you got to get a slow mo cam for that. That's what I was thinking. Of. That's that was my big joke was running to get concession stand hilarious. money. Hilarious. So good. I didn't want to tell you. It's hilarious. I had hilarious. other stuff. Hilarious. <laughs> I had a lot. YouTube the guy in the Uber that was rough. <laughs> yeah, it fucking stinks. Oh, yesterday I had to drive my lady to the airport at like six a.m. I had to drive to Baltimore. I was ticked. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I had to drive three hours in the morning. Uh I kind of offered that to her as like a thing, and she called my bluff. Mm. She's like, yeah, I'll just do that. I'll fly out of BWI. I was like, oh, great. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait. But it allowed me to go get go to my favorite bagel shop in Mechanicsburg, Ooh. Wrestler's Bagel. You got a nice breakfast sandwich. But while I was driving around Mechanicsburg, I realized it's just geezers driving around at this time. It's just geezers and losers. <laughs> what time is yeah, this? We were talking nine or like 10 a.m. Once yeah, everybody's gotten to work, dude, yeah. Now the geezers come out, and dude, they're <laughs> driving like I was watching them drive in front of me. Like, <laughs> it's when it's safe they for them, look yeah. like fucking cadavers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was fucking insane. <laughs> and then, and then the next car would be a dude with like a hoodie on, like <laughs> just a loser. Yeah. So it's just losers and geezers driving around. <laughs> yeah. That's a, tough, that's a that? tough road condition. That's road sure. conditions are wild. That's actually very tough. No one's looking, dude. I, I had to lead a geezer to the Verizon store recently. <laughs> what happened? I, I pulled up. I was. What the hell is going on? I think it's time for a fucking ad. Yeah, read. I think so. I think, I think we've hit a nice ad read. I think, guys, let me tell you something. Boys, riff on how uncomfortable it can be to have your balls stick to your legs. I'm wearing regular boxes right now. Shit, dude. we I already promoted it. these guys. Yeah, it's Sheath, all right. Sheath, what's good? Dude, 
Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast is brought to you by Sheath Underwear. Matt, are you wearing your sheaths right now? I'm wearing Hanes, dude. I hate it. Every uh, I'm telling you, every day that I, I only have four pairs. Of send me, sheath? Send yeah. me some more. Sheath. I, uh, yeah, sheath. We need more. Send me at least 10 pairs. Dude. We need send our me. testicles to point to the heavens. We need our testicles up, dude, and support it. That's I'm why we you. love sheath underwear. We need that, dude. I, Keeps every- balls off your legs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two pouches. One for your dick, one for your balls. Yep. You dick and nuts. Yep. The idea for Sheath came from its founder, U.S. Army soldier Robert Patton, during his second tour in Iraq. That's two tours, pussy. What were you doing? Sitting around. Sitting around in regular-ass underwear? Sitting around with your balls stuck to your leg. <laughs> Watching Pornhub, dude? You that guy was out there giving the business to the terrorist with his dick and nuts in a pouch. You think there was a moment You think there was a moment when he was like laying there and was just like flashbanged and was like, God, my dick is just... Ew. Feels so good. Yeah, you just did one of these. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, we. this is the problem. Got to do something about this. Guys, support the show and support this awesome veteran-owned company. Go to sheathunderwear.com. Use the promo code DRENCHED to get 20% off your first order. Every order comes with Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. That's sheathunderwear.com. Promo code DRENCHED. Get Sheath Underwear and let them sport your balls. Patton's probably got a big-ass dick, too. You don't just come up with Sheath Underwear. No. Like, yeah, I was not a problem. I'm like, yeah, you know, I didn't think it was uncomfortable, but it got to be... Imagine doing two tours with just a fucking soft donger. Just... Yeah, obviously he had a hog. I think so. To to yeah, I've never even considered this. My dog, like a, I got a nub doing fucking hip thrusts, especially during in in Iraq. I'd have a fucking nub, dude. I'd have a vagina, dude. Yeah, I'd have a full would, vagina. I would totally invert. You'd have to. Could do you think you could invert? I can invert. Is that how they do? Uh... I think it's something like that. That's I what mean, I heard. Hey, I, when I was a young boy, I remember that happened to me on a roller coaster. <laughs> Wait, a dong went into my body. <laughs> what? Yeah, the G-force <laughs> tucked my dong in. <laughs> I had this one. You turtle shelled. Yeah. That's one of the protective mechanisms we have. People don't think about it. Your dong can totally turtle shell, dude. If you get threatened enough. <laughs> you totally went full fucking acorn. Yeah, I remember it. What happened? I was ashamed. I was on the Great Bear, <laughs> flying through the air, filled with shame. Wait, Say, how, I have this. I must have the smallest penis of all time. <laughs> <laughs> how did you know it got sucked in? I can feel it. You felt it completely. I can retract? feel it. You yes. felt it completely retract. Yes. You went to you went dong zero. I did <laughs> full dong I did, zero. I almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're at full. I almost dong zero. fainted, dude. You got astronaut up. training. Then I fucking got a bloody lip on the the wildcat. What? The, yeah. That was a bad day. It was. That's probably the, the second worst day of your life. I hit the brakes too hard and I fucking hit my head on the oh. fucking... Yeah, on the rail. How long did it take for your dong to come back? Uh, Immediately. I got out and fucking pulled it. I remember. <laughs> but you could see me on the picture going... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did it really happen? Yeah. It just sucks all the way in? It did. It did one time. I was in the sixth, sixth grade, maybe. Ow. I remember it. I don't That's know, crazy. Matt. I remember it vividly. That's crazy. This is not a feed. I believe you. It was fully, Nobody dude. would lie about that. What? In. What? My dong must have, yeah, it must have looked like another belly button. I've had like one of my, do you ever get one of your balls like kind of pops up in yeah. the ear? I've, <laughs> I've got scared many times the youngsters. Oh, I only have one. I cried at the beach when I was little because I thought my nuts were gone. God, dude, someone, I mean, I'm Props not going to call for, for bakery violence on anyone, anybody. Anyone yeah, now, that's but, bad. Man. But pieing somebody in the face that you don't like is about as funny as it gets. Crazy. Yeah, he he probably, was, he, he, I mean, that guy probably got fucked. That guy probably got assault charges. You pie a billionaire, dude? Yeah. It's like, it's. You battered him, dude. True. <laughs> <laughs> that was full batter. True. Dude, Um. yeah, we were. Uh, one thing that was cool from that book, they were talking about just how people used to have children back in the day, and it was like a full economic blessing. Like, they were built into your wealth. The more kids you had, the richer you were. Yes. And it was like, it was yeah. it was you really get, tight. You get a little dowry yeah. going, well, all Well, it was that. just for the, because you would have, have a kids farm. Kids helping you? Yeah, of course, man. Or you could send them to the factory. You used to be able to send your, like, six-year-olds to the factory. Nice. And just clock it all day. Yeah. So you'd send them to the factory, and what would happen is... Your wife, most times, like there was a lot of widowers back then because your wife would die. So you would just, your dudes would be constantly be getting reset up. 
Mm-hmm. So like you'd have like two kids with your wife, she'd die on the third one, and then they'd be like, "Yo, I, my cousin, you you needed yep. to get married immediately." Call it out would, of the bullpen. It would <laughs> it would ruin you economically. Bring a sturdy broad. It would ruin you economically. So you'd start pieing. You'd be like, "All right, let's start pieing because I time is money and I got to pie yeah. to extend my amp- empire." So dudes were just pieing <laughs> back then. <laughs> And you just every time you pied, you were like, imagine if you pied and you were like, yes, yes. Like there was no part it's of it. A it was a dollar a week extra. I'm gonna put this little fucker in a factory. As soon as he turns six. Oh, then they lose a hand, and you're like, we're ruined. <laughs> you're fucked. Now you got to pie again. To you just pie again. Got to pie again, but now you got to take care of the handless one. Uh, back you can, then, you can put him down. You can fucking. <laughs> this kid worships the devil and fucking set him right. <laughs> but yeah, dude, you would just pie, and every single time you'd be like, yes. Jackpot. Awesome. We hit the jackpot. That was must have been such a crazy world to live in. It was like that for the majority of time between like, also, you, you might get a daughter, but then again, like you were saying, get the dowry. So that, mm-hmm. was, that was a ticking time bomb. You had to just fucking block. The, you only had to really guard them until they were 14. So like, you had to block the puss until they were 14, respectfully. Block the puss. And then send your boy, send them out to the fact. You probably could send the girls to the fact too. Yeah. So you're coining, coining, coining. You got the boys going. Oh, wife dies. New sniz. Then you start, you start pieing a new sniz. And then it's just nonstop. Dudes would have like, they, most dudes would get like three wives like yeah. this. You're like, dude, the wife would die. They'd be like, let's go. Time's fucking money, dude. <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful. Um, and then he said, I was reading about this. I was like, this is fucking nuts. And then he said it, it just flipped to where like, if you have mo- more kids now in an urbanized setting, it's economic suicide. But yeah, man, that was pretty, that was pumping me up back just back in the day for the boys really having fun back then. Just yeah. Wife dies horrifically in childbirth. Kid All the dies. Time. And you're like single. Yes. I'm single. Time for me to mingle. Dude, that we bought a car yesterday. The guy, the service man, not the service manager, the dealer manager, whatever, sales manager. He was on the news because he delivered his second kid himself. Whoa. Yeah, dude. He said there was like something happened where they couldn't get out and he was like, dude, this guy ruled. Ugh. He was, he is so hell bent on bringing Piazza Honda of Philadelphia to greatness. Yeah. We sat down with him. He's like, I'm not, he's like, no, this is our lives, man. He's like, these dudes want to, he's like, he's a like, customer service dip during the pandemic. We're making it right right now. He's like, we're not, we can't have that. This is our yeah. livelihood. This is what we do. Those guys are very serious. Yeah, dude. This guy was like all, I I, I was like, thought I was getting bullshitted from Piazza's all Piazza's a good group, dude. We used to do some dealer trades with Piazza. They're a good group. Yeah. Great bros. Dealer dude. trade. You'd like a good dealer trade. I, dude, I'd love to be it's, inside of that call. Bro, dealer trades are so nice. They're like, look, we're, we're, we're trying to get a fucking metallic fucking honda pilot we don't have one do you guys have one they'd be like yes we need a fucking blue crv be like all right trade is on you and another guy drive to piazza oh same time it's the best day ever you get a whole day you get to leave work you get to drive there just to complete one sale shit rules oh that's really fucking awesome what a great day you get there you go oh yeah let me take a look at this looks good what's this what's this scratch be like hey it's on there you can get it yeah the carfax yeah bring the show me the carfax yeah, dude, the Carfax was clean as hell, dude. We went and got a CRV yesterday. I saw it, dude. I was in it. That thing's nice, dude. I'm I respectfully you. didn't throw a dip in. Appreciate it. I was that. close. Appreciate I was close, that. and I was like, I don't want to get dip in his new car. Uh, you would have been, you would have been perfect because Sean set you up with an empty coffee cup to dip right into. Mm. Oh. You littered in the car already. I will throw it out once we get back to my house. <laughs> Did you litter already? I always take care of my garbage. He does. It's true. House. He does. He cleans up. Yeah, who doesn't? Who the admiral? <laughs> Really? The Commodore leaves. He loves <laughs> stuffing the fucking passenger door with trash. Oh, <laughs> fucking goodness. ticks me off. Dude. That'll get you. That'll get you. But yeah, dude, the uh, I thought for sure these guys were just full full of shit. I'm like, yeah, okay. Well, micro, they are. They are. Microchip. They were. True, but. But yeah, well, I had a sales manager that was like that. He was like obsessed. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is their life and they are actually pretty serious. He's been it. there 20 something years. Yeah. Dude. They he, love it. Yeah, especially after you deliver your kid, dude. Well, that's gruesome. Deliver your own kid. This dude was totally delivered. Dude. What a gruesome experience. Yeah, man. He was. This guy was just like, it's the best thing in the world, man. He was just. Dude was just like. Yeah, he's a little. He's got fucking shell, shell shock. shock for sure. He's an honest. Make an honest man out of you, dude. <laughs> you confront. You confront that, dude. I'll, fuck, I'll fucking never. I'll fucking never pretend never meeting again. I'll fuck. I'll give people a fair fucking price. They yeah, teamed with right. fucking Edmonds, dude. Talk about that. What's that? Piazza teamed with Edmonds. Really? Yeah, they're not using that Kelly Blue Book bullshit. Oh, I'm done with Kelly. Some lady tried KBB fucking... KBB can go fuck Dude, itself, bro. some lady... I won't mention the dealership. I won't badmouth him. It wasn't Piazza. We went to another dealership. 
lady tried. I was like, yo, I just checked Edmonds, man. You guys, you guys are high as hell. And they were like, Edmonds is, that's not even, you got to check Kelly Blue Book. And I was like, don't, please. Don't, please don't bring that KBB. Get KBB out of my face. There's no yeah. real time. Where's the real time data? That's what we need. I need real time sales data, dude. That's what we need. You know, it was always nice when you were a, as a salesman, when you see a nice broad walk in by yourself and you say, this lady's not checking one fucking KBB. <laughs> dude. But then they bring their daddies in with them sometimes. The yes. young girl brings her dad in and he's killer. there to be like, I'm going to dominate this. Yeah. Like, you don't know shit either, dumbass. <laughs> I'm going to trick you, too. Well, dude, the dealership was, I was, I was like trying to like juke and jive, and they were like, dude, look around. There was no cars in the fucking lot. He's like, dude, we don't have any cars. He's like, I'm not lying. There's He's fucking like, truckers, off, dude. Let me knock off a couple hundred bucks. I supported the truckers. I supported them. Yeah. I said, that's why I bought a car to support the truckers. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll buy a fucking car right now. I'll buy a car. They said they're going up over 7,000 MSRP. Next week. And they're like, we're not budging because people need cars. Yeah. But he's like, it sucks because we can't really. You got a good one, though. Yeah, got a got black it. CRV. We got that deal. shit's tight. We got a deal. I wanted a CRV. Get one. I might get one. They're good. They're good for the city as well. I'll take you down to P. Oh, I'll take you I'm down to I'm not going to P. Out. Man, I got the hookup. Oh, you got the hookup. I'm going to Bobby Ray Hall Honda. You got the hookup. <laughs> you got the hookup. You're telling me I'm, I'm going to Bobby Ray Hall Honda <laughs> on the Carlisle Pike. True. You got the hookup, too. You should see the Pike these days. Really? It's just all dealerships. Is it really? It's a whole road. Just all dealerships. It's wild. They got an auto mall. And then there's the Cumberland Valley High School. <laughs> yeah, Philly's auto malls. It's like junkyards, a strip club. And then it's like, oh, you breach that. And then all of a sudden you hit like just a beautiful string of dealerships. Kia. I love seeing a Kia dealership. Kia dealership. There's a fucking, there's a Harley Davidson dealership across the street from ours. They were always up to no good, those guys. Oh yeah, dude! Did you ever go up there? And I always go over there and say, "Turn it down." There are a couple, there are a couple of renegades. Turn the music down. A little. Yeah, my brother bought a motorcycle from Harley Davidson a while ago. Really? Go in there, there are renegades in there, dude. Yeah, they, every every Saturday they'd have a barbecue. What? There was nothing we could do to compete with it. It's like a pirate. Over at Bobby Ray Hall. <laughs> we're selling fucking Civics like women. <laughs> All the dude, Harley guys were out revving their engines. You see a girl walk in by herself, and it really is like it was so hard to keep Brittany down from like the EX. It's like the fully loaded one. Yeah. We would like, so we'd look at the cars and we're like, all right, like we get the CRV and then she'd be like, fuck, let's just get an old new EX. And I'd be like, no, yeah, no, we're not. The doing LX that. is fine. We're not doing the LX. Did dude. you get an LX? Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm an LX perfect. guy. LXs are perfect. I don't want Apple play. You got the backup cam. It's already it's in there. Need. It's, it's need. standard now. Alloy wheels. Standard. Yeah, man. Dude, the LX is heated seats or EX is like heated seats. All this, yeah. all this nonsense. Moonroof. Dude, it's $8,000 more dollars. It's like, dude, they start hitting the, they crush the base with the financing. Yeah. So they're like, well, it's this much, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, what's you can the crush interest? The base. Dude, you go in, you go, what's the total interest on the life of the loan? 60 month loan. You do the monthly payments times 60. And then you take it off of what you paid. You start looking, oh, shit, I'm going to pay four grand in fucking interest. Yeah. So I was doing, I was doing dad math. Single. Yeah. You watch a single lady come in. Oh, God, dude. All the boys start licking their chops. And then you see an Indian family come in. The boys head for the hills. You get stuck with an Indian family. That's an all day. Yeah, they're dude. They're they and love. They will them. haggle your yeah. dick off and then leave without paying. They have no pro. Dude, props to Indians haggling. Oh yeah, they have no problem walking away like, at any at moment. The very last minute, they'll get you to the brink and walk you. <laughs> and you'll be like, dude, I'd sat with you guys for four hours and just leave. Dude, you'll test drive. They they love the Honda Odyssey. Yeah. They need the van. They need that, and they pack it. So it's you and fucking six Indian people. You go with them? Yeah, test drive with them. They send it. They send you. Loan they bring now. their kids. They fill the whole thing up. It's wild. Damn. Are they go alone because of COVID? I don't. Maybe. You could still do that. You could, could still. You, yeah. you could give people a car. But you for wanted like that's a day. A, for me. If I was slanging, if I was slanging metal, I'd like to be in on the test drive. That's yeah. when you start being like, yeah. If you want to check that, it's a little new. Little I would. Thing. Well, what you do is you sit in the back, especially Ooh. if it's a couple. That way you can read the fucking sticker. When they're like, so uh, how many? What horsepower is this? You're like. 240. <laughs> like you can, <laughs> yeah. And you're like, it's tinted window. You just yeah, you can start. It. That's actually that's a good trick. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love nicotine. <laughs> what Man. about what about Lucy? I'm thinking I'm thinking of starting nicotine, dude. Get addicted to nicotine. I'm thinking and let I'm me tell start. you. Let's start with the top. Lucy offers a 12 milligram nicotine. It's a lot. I might as well go that's all in. That's a strong nicotine pouch. I might as well go all in. Uh, Matt and Shane's Secret Podcast is brought to you by Lucy. Shane, riff on Lucy. <laughs> what do you think about Lucy? What do you think about? I love your riffing on Lucy. What do I think about? It? It's debilitating. Yeah. Yeah. 
I heard it. I, heard, I did hear a lot of writers like it, they feel like it speeds up the old. It does. Thing. It actually does. I mean, it does have nicotine. Does have that. Yeah. Um. We can maybe get Sid the kid on. Sid the kid just started caffeine. Maybe get him some nicotine. Oh, he's he got to be out started. of control on caffeine. He just started. He's out of control dude. on life, dude. Dude, he's on caffeine now. How's he's got to be firing on all cylinders? He loves it. Texting, he calling people. A little bit. He's a little. But he was like, dude, I didn't know this is how people live. Like people yeah. could have energy. Wait till he time. gets to fucking Adderall. True. Bro. Yeah, true. Some daffodil. I'll take one Adderall, Adderall and be like, holy shit, I'm invincible. <laughs> but then, you, then you're no, but then you're on the great bear. Yeah, that's zero G. Um, all right. Guys, Lucy makes all sorts of nicotine products like gum, lozenges, and pouches. However you want to get your fix, they've got it. It's the best, most responsible way to consume nicotine. So when you feel a craving, call up your girl Lucy. We're going to have to work on that, Lucy. Maybe I'll... Uh, and maybe switch I'll... to a new nicotine product that you can feel good about. Maybe we'll get a lozenge. Maybe we'll get a lozenge. I have I have a whole box. We can maybe get you... Some, I have, some... Maybe we'll do a little test on air, see how you handle that's, it. That's <laughs> I think Lucy will be happy to see you go... <laughs> 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 it burns. Uh, check out lozenge. Lucy's full line of products at lucy.co. That's lucy.co. And use promo code DRENCHED at the checkout. It helps support the show if you use our code. Here's the part the lawyers want me to say. Good God. <laughs> Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. God, the lawyers love ruining everything, dude. Yeah. But you already knew that. So if you're interested in a better well, way to use nicotine, visit lucy.co and be sure to use that promo code, DRENCH. That's the disclaimer for the rock fans. True. Yeah. Like, what the hell? I don't know. I'm addicted to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking ruined my gains. Yeah, the... Uh, I want to go to battle. I snuck some there. Lucy into the movie theater yesterday. Did you really? I was sneaking nicotine. I went and saw but you're not allowed Jackass. To bring these teams at all. How about I put a lot of money into this to the point where this means everything to me? <laughs> so every night. I mean. Think of think of like any movie you watched if the consequences were real. You know what I mean? Like you get to do that with sports. You can turn it into a real life. Yes. Fucking major issue. Yes. It's every very night, fun. Yeah, this night, matters. This matters immensely. You go, this, oh, you're watching stupid games. None of this matters. I, it does now. Yeah. You're Trust basically me, the lady. owner of the team. I you're the owner of the team. You this matters. This matters more than anything you've ever done with your fucking life, <laughs> lady. We need Oregon State to cover or we're sleeping out in the tent. <laughs> oh, now it matters. Yeah. Oh, Get in here. Matters. Put on your beaver gear. We're cheering <laughs> for Oregon State. Betting is makes things, it does make things so fun. We used to bet yeah. on sumo wrestling. Very, very fun. Bert. Betting on sumo wrestling is incredible. Come here. Just sit down. Yeah, Pop a seat. No, yeah. Where are you going? No, Grab a seat. No, no, no. Hey, sit down. Me. Look at this fucking guy, dude. This is Ooh. a classic New York boy. Classic New York fellow. Ooh. Oh, he had to make pee-pee? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he had a pee-pee. By the way, a lot, of, a lot of terminology of mine. Do you guys know each other at all? Yeah, we met. All right. Burke. We met. What's up, brother? Burke's a fucking man. Thank you, dude. Salam thank you very brother. much. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum to you as well. Assalamu alaikum, salam. Yeah, dude. Can you sing some stuff in Muslim for us while he's peeing? <laughs> Do you know Muslim songs? <laughs> yeah, he does. Muslims are on top right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> Muslims are back. Ooh, Here, there we go. Get in the middle. There we go. Get in the middle. Yes. When I went to uh, <laughs> the the, the uh, competitive eating, the the hot dog you competition. I couldn't get action, and Gino knew a guy that would get action on the competitive eater. <laughs> you, could, you couldn't buy it on any of the place. And he was really? calling every book. He like, come on, you got to give yeah. me action on Chestnut. And he was trying to get. But he, and Who did you bet on? Uh, Chestnut, Joey Chestnut. I mean, the odds are you know 100 to 1, but that's the only reasonable bet to make. True, yeah. He's never lost. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he didn't, Kobayashi never got him? Kobayashi can't play anymore. So basically, Kobayashi... Uh, they said if you want to be in, you're big in the competitive eating. If you want to be in a major, yeah, yeah. If you want to be uh, in major league eating, you got to sign the contract. You can't. It's kind of like how the comedy clubs do. If they said, yeah. and Kobayashi said, not doing that. So he's too honorable. He's too far too honorable. Kobayashi really? takes this system. You're not gonna, yeah, you're not gonna pin him down to one contract, right? Is he the champ though? He was at the time, but then major league eating said he can't compete unless he signs the contract. What? So then Kobayashi went across the street and set up his own competition the same day. Is major league eating and beat the record so he said basically your records don't matter wow <laughs> fuck dude how do you know about fucking major league eating? big joey chestnut guy <laughs> i like kobayashi too i want to get joey chestnut to do a video that's the craziest <laughs> fucking sport it's incredible <laughs> i don't know i think it's 
Terrible. Well, isn't don't they eat like How spaghetti and shit? About no, no, no. Don't they eat like other food stuff? Oh no! Well, a lot of them. So a lot of <laughs> <laughs> this is good. A lot of the competitive eating guys are famous from being like YouTubers and stuff like that. So yeah. it's kind of like you when the YouTubers have nice? to come do stand up, right? Shoe nice. You ever fucking shoe nice? I know, I know these guys. I mean, they're not a real deal, but <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's fun to watch their YouTube videos, right? You know, but so so basically, they don't want to uh, uh, do the competitions because it's bad for their brand to just show up and get murked by some actual real deal competitive. Yeah, eater. true. Whereas he's he's having fun making his. I ate ten thousand oyster videos, but it's like on, you put man. him in the real arena, he just gets exactly. Destroyed. You see the reels, they're like, what the fuck, dude? Did you just do a bump in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> just come you back and just like about, competitive start, eating. You start talking about betting on sumo wrestling. I go, oh, you. Oh, that's fun. That's that an age old, that's so an honor fun, tradition. Dude. I would love to do that. Yeah, dude, that is. That that's what my nice. two ex girlfriends are fighting. I say, I'm betting on the sumo <laughs> over here. Yeah, I'm not yucking your gum. Competitive eating is something. It's just such a. It's got to fuck people up from other countries. It's nuts. Oh, it's got to be watch a people just gorge themselves I'm like woo. Yeah, <laughs> they take it seriously too. And then I the, bet. Oh, here's the, it was, it was in, you know, where uh, it's Coney Island, right? Yeah. And the guy comes out. Did you uh, go to it this year? Yeah. Of course you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? You're yeah. in the competitive eating. You like. Well, kind of the way that you'd be into like wrestling, I guess. Like. It's fun. Very, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So very much. Into You're the it. only guy I've ever known <laughs> that. Yeah, no one ever wants to go. <laughs> I assume I assume my, was, no, my buddies from Toronto are kind of into it too. Really? I assumed well, the crowd was just old Chinese it. ladies. I thought it was just old Chinese ladies there. No, no, it's like Hicks, buddy, and they get the you know okay. De Blasio comes out and, and then everyone boos the him. Coward, he sucks <laughs> on all the hot dogs. <laughs> they boo him. They boo the coward. They're like, get off the stage, pussy. Mm. We're here to watch dudes then, eat hot dogs. And then the chief <laughs> prosecutor came out and everyone loved him. <laughs> this really? is like peak BLM. The guy comes up and he's like, you know, we locked up twice as many as ever before, and everyone goes, "That's a real man." <laughs> fuck you, De Blasio. What the fuck? <laughs> so wait, these hot dog contests <laughs> are also then, clan rallies. <laughs> And they're like well, sneaking in alt right shit. I'll just say like, the clientele that goes to hot dog eating competitions. Yeah, yeah. A little different from the Brook, the Lock Williamsburg her up. Uh, pub. Lock her up. <laughs> yes. Well, there's two. Wild. When I'd I like went, there was a this. guy and a girl, and the dude was like one of the top competitive eaters, and his wife was one of the top girl competitive eaters. So Whoa, like a competitive eating damn. couple. Just love and diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eight, well, and, Joey, and the the main guy what he does he keeps hitting himself because it, like he's trying to he has all these techniques to try to get it go into the right spots in his oh, belly and stuff God. it's 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 disgusting yeah what's what's is it always hot dogs or is it like do they ever do like lasagna go. lasagna i'd pay to see major league eating mainly does hot dogs at nathan's because that's the nathan's one but no they do uh they'll do well a lot of these guys do the b league kind of it's the equivalent to the mexican wrestling yeah where they go around to some state fair and they do a crappy you know pie eating competition or some garbage like that not respectable <laughs> what's the most what, what have you seen cuisine wise that was like what's the best cuisine you've seen competed upon why well, don't watch those ones the hot the nathan's once a year is the only one but the, okay. these guys they bring them up to their thing so they go and this guy was uh finished first place in the iowa state you know clam eating championship or yeah, pizza there. eating or whatever <laughs> i would like to see i'd like to see competitive candy eating that would be sick See who, who competitive you know, candy. Competitive nice. candy. You should see me on Halloween, nineteen ninety eight. It's just twelve year olds, king size. I think that's what a lot of those guys do on their YouTube channels, right? They well, a lot of those guys got popular from like eating detergent and gross that was shoe nice. Like shoe nice was glue. That's that guy. He would like chug a bottle of vodka. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. big one for those guys chugging the bottle of vodka. That's an easy one. Man, that must that fucking suck. Terrible. Yeah. Chugging a bottle just as soon as that hits. Hot stuff. That probably was, hits so hard. Uh, it's dude. You probably just black out in like. Yeah, it's, you just, it's like anesthesia. You probably just go under. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. Yeah, I used to drink. I know I a guy in to... high school drank the bottle of vodka, smashed skateboard on his head. That was his trick. Jesus. I used to, I used to chug like doing? six shots of vodka and almost fall. Construction worker. <laughs> he's a construction <laughs> worker? Nice. Yeah. Hey, apparently, uh, no, he's, he was one of the ones. He was, I guess it would be roof or more than construction worker, but fell off the roof and he was out of commission for a bit. <laughs> nice. Possibly, we're not sure if it was vodka induced. Nice. Shit. Probably hacks so much darts, though. <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, this Burke. Is Burke. What up, buddy? You were taking a think a while. I came in. Sorry. No problem. 
Oh, oh, no. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, let's let him. <laughs> yeah, yo, just close this out. Give us a final word. Yeah, final word of the cast. Final word of the cast. <laughs> what do you think about Russia, Ukraine? Go ahead. <laughs> what do you think about Russia, Ukraine, dude? Both good or both bad? Both good, both bad. Switch it on. Oh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> NATO is a tricky, tricky thing. Yes. Right? Amen to that, brother. Yes, North American is. Twink Association is what I'm talking about, huh? <laughs> yes. This is a good podcast. <laughs> what do you think you, about NATO? It is, it is tricky. Why, what do you think we should do moving forward? What would you like to see done? If you had your druthers. My druthers. That's a good one. Hit, hit, your women, hit your women with that. Druthers. You're married, aren't you? Yes. Do you ever yell at your girlfriend as a joke? Or your wife? Wife? Uh, as a joke? Not, not so much. Nah. <laughs> I've just got I into it. I didn't come in locked and loaded. It's a fun so joke. Much. It's a fun I'm joke. I'm a big fan of the Klitschko's. I want to see Lomachenko get a gun. Oh, we're back to Russia. And I want to see nice. uh, Usyk yeah. also uh, get strapped up. There's some good fighters who I haven't seen out on the front lines yet. <laughs> Is Lomachenko out there? <laughs> now, he's such a good... Klitschko's are strapped. I you saw that. guys hand to hand, though, because... I like to see Khabib. Lomachenko's a little small. I like to see Khabib join in. <laughs> yes. They should just settle it like that, like champions. Yeah. That would be tight. Just have both armies be like, all right, Khabib versus. Where's is Khabib? He's Russian. He's who are they going? They would fight Klitschko is uh, Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Klitschko would probably actually Klitschko's geezed up. <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He's too geezed. He might be too geezed up. That'd be a huge way to settle it though, once and for all. If you yeah. got the two guys to agree yeah. to it, and, and the then Ukrainian... the whole world watches, put it on pay per view. You takes. guys get to split the money. Yeah, and the Ukrainian competitor could have, like, an American fighter, like, sliding him weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Just giving him, every now and again, throwing, like, a stick in there. Like, yeah. That'd be tight. That'd be fun. All right, well, guys, that was a podcast. That was a great podcast. Ryan Long. Check out Ryan Long's special. Yeah, dude. White Immigrant. YouTube.com slash Ryan Long Comedy. Look Hell at yeah. that, dude. Check it Check it out. Get, Get in, in there. there. The Boys Cast. Get in with, with Ryan yeah. Long Next. Podcast. Get check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Train by day. Ryan Long by night. Yes, Check it out. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Just go in there. Click click a couple uh, buttons. Get on the tube there and just... Uh, let's just call this one a day. Call it a day. Yeah, we can promote on the next one. Let's do it. God bless. Yeah, I just focus fully on it. <laughs> we got to... I mean, would you guys consider getting a sub incision? What is that? When you yeah, cut up the middle of your dick and like let it bleed out a little, then cut it like like sew it back up. Sure. <laughs> Just getting dogs. a nice scar. I'll do it for the dogs. Yeah, I'd do anything for you guys. That's the wrong answer. Like, no, you're not touching my penis, guys. Yeah. What the hell? What are you guys freaks? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'll I might, do, I'll I'll I might suck guys. I had right. a nice trip. I was in <laughs> Los Angeles. Oh yeah, yeah. You're out west. <laughs> you're out west. Guy, I got to hang out with the dog, dude. Nate Diaz. Linked, linked. I did it, dude. What's I up? joined Steve Gerben oh, with Nate Diaz. Dude, what was that? You know what that was. <laughs> it was exactly <laughs> how you think it would be. Gerben wore like a wrinkled Old Navy flannel, button down, uh, short sleeve button down. To, like a cholo? To dinner. I mean, it's it, West Coast Gerben. It was, it was West Coast Gerben, dude. <laughs> He was great. Gerbys was afraid to fly. Oh, he's fuck. afraid to fly. How was that? I meant to ask you about that. It was that. so fun. Oh uh, yeah, I was texting what'd you. What you like, hit him with? Right before, right before takeoff, the pilot gets on. He's like, uh, "Looks like we're going to be hitting turbulence throughout the flight, yes. so seatbelt's going to be on basically the entire." Like he was like, "This is going to be a rough ride." That as soon be- as he said it, I just looked at Gerbin like, "You ready? How you close? Were, how close were you to him?" He was he was directly behind me, so I was reaching back and oh, grabbing him. God, I would sit up on my seat and turn around and look at him. <laughs> yeah, it was that fun. would be fun to go down just to torment him the whole time. Like, yeah, we're actually. I told we're you, we're dying die. now. We're oh die. God, <laughs> sorry, dude. Yeah, you shouldn't have got on the plane. This was a risk that you should have. You, you knew. You knew this. You was knew a in your heart that you were gonna fucking die in a plane crash. And you're right. And you cursed me and got on a plane with me. <laughs> what the fuck, Steve? Steve, you blew it. Yeah, no, but how Gerbin, was he? How Gerbin was he was handling? Great. How was he handling the turbulence? Gerby, I'll tell you what, Gerby's a real party pooper. What? He doesn't stay out late. Although he did party the the first. There's a there was a sick pool at the hotel. 
Kirby's had a couple of drinks and was really? he gets loose. He was like a Jew in fun. Miami. Yeah, he dude. unbuttoned the flannel a little. We we were <laughs> we're at the it was the it's called the Roosevelt Hotel. It was it was fucking that sick. sounds nice. It's like hot L A people around this pool. Yeah, me and Gerby's come down to the pool, dude. The two kings, just dude. luminescent kings, he, dude. dude. Just the two pale kings, dudes kings dude. on earth <laughs> with two of the fucking grossest dudes in the building. You're men beyond the wall. Gerbin comes down with his fucking goggles. He wears goggles. No, stop. He wears fucking Why? tight speedo goggles. Why, dude? Why? And he got in the pool. No, and sat in a fucking tube, dude. He got Does he tube. wear them as a joke? Or he genuinely? No, he's wearing them. Why? Because he has one contact. Because he's got one fucked up eye. Does he have, does he have monocle, uh, speedos? He has a monocle contact. Does he have a, mo- like a <laughs> yeah, monocle? Basically. He should do monocle speedo. So he got a patch fucking speedo. That'd be fucking nice. You can't wear speedos without looking absolutely ridiculous. Looked, unless you're an Olympic swimmer and, and like a speedo. He looked, he looked insane. Goggles in the pool looked so fucked up. Goggles in the pool by yourself at first. He got him by himself and was just sitting in an inner tube. I've never <laughs> seen somebody care less <laughs> oh, than this dude. dude. Yeah. That's funny. Then he got hammered that it, night. To keep the goggles on? And he brushed his teeth with his preparation H. <gasps> <laughs> no. Yeah. Kirby's had a trip. <laughs> and then, uh, How'd yeah. How'd that feel? Uh, probably, probably, felt probably great. fucking insane, dude. The taste of that. Oh. Yeah, because his fucking contact was out. Kirby's has fucked up eyes. True, yeah. That's uh, fucked up. But yeah, I was happy to see just him and Nate Diaz in the same room was... All I've ever wanted. That's literally fucking, the opposite. Dude, that's fucking, that was the yin and yang. Yeah, the sure. opposite of people. The most opposite of two people. For sure. I've never seen a difference. It's full of nantiadromia. Oh, man, the that's squad. An dude, the dude. squad I brought to. We went to dinner with Nate and his friends. Yeah. The squad that I brought was Francis Ellis, Ian nice. Fidance, nice. Steve Gerbin, and McKeever, and me. Again, we sit down. Francis goes immediately. I and the whole time I was like, finance is going to fuck this up. Yeah, he's easily the number one guy who's going to ruin this and be like, Nate, do you like ska? Oh, <laughs> he fucking is so annoying because <laughs> uh, he's happy. So it's annoying to be around. Bothers and, you. Yeah, he's enthusiastic and happy. Really? Ian, you're going to catch the bug. He's a great dude. You're going to I know you're going to catch the bug. Yeah, I don't think I am. You listen to, you Mighty Mighty Bo- you listen to Mighty Mighty Boston's lately? No, pretty tight. Finance, my, finance rides a bike around with a fucking his he has a bluetooth speaker jam scott he jams he's the only white person on earth that does this dude we gotta start it is time for white kangs to start blasting on bluetooth <laughs> see, right how, up, how, see how they like it just ride up on the adunde <laughs> festival like with it, mighty dude. mighty boss tones on yeah. our mongooses uh no disrespect we <laughs> s- yeah we sit down immediately at this table, Francis is sitting. Mm-hmm. We had like a square table. Francis is sitting across from Nate. And he's like, Nate, oh boy. I have a story for you. As soon as he said, I'm sitting across. You tell like, me a punch. You talk like, like a punch. Shut the fuck up. No, he told some story about getting cheated on. He's like, my girlfriend fucked a guy at nice. the time. Nice. And then he and I talked it out. What did he say? That was the, like the gist of the story. While he's telling the story, I'm sitting there like, stop. What the fuck are you doing? Dude? What was you ruined the cool time. And Nate responded by being like, oh, you talked it out. I would have fucking killed him. Dude. He's like, nice. <laughs> Good story. His Francis. Twitter is so fucking funny. Who's? Nate Diaz's Twitter is just him being like, that guy's a pussy. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His Twitter is the, the best funny Twitter shit. on earth. It's him is like, fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, that guy's a loser. It's him being like, I would beat his ass all yeah. day long. It's all it is. Yeah. And him retweeting whatever. But it's him being like, that guy sucks. <laughs> yeah. He's a pussy. There's Nobody can fight. Yeah, because there's dudes fighting. They, they're like ducking him. They got him on ice, dude. Let him fight, bro. He's a money fight. You got I don't, Yeah, it's fucked up. That was so funny. I was f- certain. Conor McG- I, whenever I see like a montage of a dude winning, I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. No one's going to beat this guy. Yeah, of course. And then Nate Diaz beat never the fuck lose. <laughs> Nate Diaz whooped his ass, dude. <laughs> made him quit. <laughs> he made him roll over and quit. I mean, dude, they had edit, They edited the shit. They were like, Mystic Mac, he can predict. I'm like, damn, this guy can definitely predict yeah, whatever's going to happen. He's got his ass kicked. Yeah. Turns out Nate called it. He was like, it's going to be a long fucking night for this, dude. It would be your ass. <laughs> it was a sad night, dude. That is very funny. Mystic Mac's never been the same. No, dude. You he, can't. He killed him. You did. He did. Because when you now talk that much now shit. he's out of his mind, dude. You're, like, you're, a lo- you're a loser. Did you see the video of the guy 
who like stunk it. It was like a small, I don't know if it's like a Mexican boxer, but he like he stunk at talking shit. He came out, he said, Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat your your fucking ass. And like he could he sucked at talking shit. Yeah. And the guy was sitting there like, all right, and then just beat the fuck out of him. Wait, the guy who oh wait. Which is a boxer. A dude was trying to talk shit. He was trying to really like, and, and and like you're you're and he just did so bad. And the other guy was like, like all right, I'm gonna fucking kill you. The guy was just the guy was literally laughing at him while he was like he was all like dripped out and was like, Yeah, that's why like when I come in, I like I'm gonna beat your ass and the dude was just like, All right, man. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> Whooped his ass. Sucked. So that was a big victory. Got That's the, the boys. Got the boys out well, there. Well, it was exciting because it was a incidental running. Really? Nate and his bros just happened to be at the same hotel. That's tight. So I was I was about to come down to the pool. Yeah. And McKeever and Gerben were already down there. And McKeever texted me. He was like, I'm 90% sure Nate Diaz is here. I was up in my hotel room like, yes. <laughs> I have to take my Nate Diaz t-shirt <laughs> off because I was wearing one. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. That's all I have. Yeah, true. His buddy Nick sent me a box of Nate Diaz t-shirts. What are you going to do I now? Have three t shirts and then 15 Nate Diaz represent t shirts. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do besides wear? <laughs> That's what I wear. So I was like, all right, I can't wear this. If that guy's down there, I can't wear this dude's merch. True. What'd you switch it up to? Uh, a cool Nick Rashford t shirt that he nice. gave me. Tight. So I came, <laughs> <laughs> different guy's t shirt. And I came down and I was like, oh, fuck, he's not going to remember me for sure. He's going to think I'm a dumbass. And I like walked up and I was like, hey, uh, and he was like, Shane, what up? I was like, yes, this is the yes. best. Do you want to hang out? Oh, what are you guys doing tonight? Do you guys want to? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm down for whatever. Whatever you guys are doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm such a bitch. Nah, dude. That's tight. It was, it was, I was so happy. That's fun. I was so happy. Pool parties oh, you know, are the best. So then we're out, we're out to dinner and I was like, oh shit, I, these guys asked me to do a show. Do you guys want to come see me do stand up? I had had a couple glasses of wine. Really? And I was like, don't worry. I'm going to get on stage, show you guys. You guys have never seen me do stand up. Turn it just, around. Just watch. You guys are going to think I'm cool. I get up there. I go last on this show. Everybody's bombed so far. <laughs> Terrible crowd. I get on. First two minutes, I'm killing. Nice. First two minutes. So after those two minutes, I start showboating a little. I know Nate's in the crowd. I want to look cool. Yeah, I yeah. was like, Phew. Maybe it wasn't the crowd. Maybe it was you guys. <laughs> Hit him with a little fucking. I'm a New York guy, dude. This is a little. <laughs> I'm not one of you LA pussies. This is a little different. Damn. Then I proceeded to bomb for 13 minutes. <laughs> it was so bad. It what, was so what bad. Lost him? Probably me getting arrogant, rubbing in it in two minutes, face. being like, maybe it's not the crowd's fault. Maybe you guys kind of suck. Anyway. Oh, and the crowd was like, we don't like that. Yeah, and the crowd was like, who's this guy think he is? No, I think it was probably just poor performance and alcohol. True. Drinking before a show is uh wine of all things. Wine I was I was yeah, I was it's like King Energy too. I was like actually a little drunk. Really? Yeah. Yikes. No, that's not good for stand up. No, dude. I, I get the very few times that I've gotten like inebriated from alcohol and did stand up, I I suffer from like I think I'm killing. Yeah, which that can be very funny. And Itch, especially if your yeah. friends are in the room. Yeah, this was just my ex wife. Oh. I was just kind of like pretty good, right? And she was like, Yeah, it was great. And I was like, did the math. And Why I, are you I think saying I, it like that? I might have recorded it on my phone, the oh, set, and I listened God. back and I was like, I actually didn't do very well at all. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Yeah, that wouldn't that wouldn't hurt. Yeah, that stinks. Um Yeah, it was it was a great overall trip. And then we yeah. did Brea improv. That was fun. That was that. It was nice. Ian Ian and Jamar neighbors. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Jamar's for real like my favorite comedian to watch do stand up. That dude does roll. It's so funny. He, was he just he, goes out and just screams shit yeah, at these nuts. people. Yeah. He was like, Roe versus Wade. Shout out Roe versus Wade, motherfucker. <laughs> like, and, this, <laughs> and there's just people sitting there like, <laughs> what the fuck? What is he? What side is he on? <laughs> Never know. It's like, you tell me they can't be scooping babies out anymore? <laughs> Damn, <laughs> bitches can't be scooping their babies out anymore. <laughs> like, <just, laughs> yeah. Well, that's not what we like. But yeah. more what about a wonderful the, time. What, what do you think about choice? that, dude? Do you do you want to show up to Judge Kavanaugh's house with a weapon? Not not particularly. No, no. you don't want to do that. No, I don't want to go bother the man. <laughs> I don't want to go bother the man. Why? He's been why is, enough, dude? Why is he the epicenter of abortion? Because he wrote the fucking. He wrote it. He was the guy who wrote the Roe v. Wade, uh, whatever it's called. Oh, the Roe v. Like the Roe he v. Wrote v. Wade the thing part that was two? like, we should probably overturn this thing. It's a it's a draft. Oh, saying like, yeah, maybe no. He's abortions. like, yeah, if it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, dude, I don't know. I'm yeah, just... we. I looked it up. I think Mississippi's at 15 weeks. 
15 Mississippi is yeah 15 oh, weeks they're just trying to say like you can't do it like super late basically uh, yeah so 15 weeks I think France as a nation is at 11 weeks really yeah Mississippi's more liberal on abortion than France and they were like this is an outrage yeah Texas is at six weeks okay so they Texas is cutting it close I mean it is a human being Yep. Yeah, you see, you there's, see the pictures. They, I understand have, that side of the argument, too. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that, there's a heartbeat. I, I don't understand that is, argument. I say you should just do it's a human being, but it's like if you want to kill your child, go ahead. Yeah. You kill your child. It's just, yeah, just don't show boat. Probably going to be sad. You're going to be sad. You you're shouldn't have killed your fucking Probably going to be sad. And then you're going to direct all of that energy into like weird political shit and wear penis hats. And it's like, that's your choice. Yeah. But you did kill your child. And it's very sad. Hey. What? Oh, come on, man. It's just, you, you did. You killed your child. It was your, it's going to be your child and you killed it. But <laughs> that's your right. Yeah. It's your right. It's sad. That's it. A, uh, it's, it's a heavy, you know, again, it's, you got to fucking get ahead in this world, you know? <laughs> yeah. you, you need know? to get promoted. It is funny, though, when women are like, you know, they're like, well, you know, I got to think about, I, I want to like, I need my career. It's like, all right. So like, then I'll have kids. It's like, so you're just going to ruin a better career. Yeah, it's like, I'm gonna be a lawyer. It's like, so you want to ruin a lawyer? You want to wait until you're really high up, and then have and then to, completely spoil. Yeah, yeah, true. Kind of, it is tight though to be like just. It's like touching backboard for chicks. It's like I did it. What? Just like become a lawyer for like two years and like yeah, I just decided to have kids. I, yeah, because it does alleviate a lot of the concern. Chicks got psyched up to the thing they're losers if they don't have like jobs. Yeah, it's like nah, dude. You don't even need a job. You don't need a job. You, you, some some people need gerbs. <laughs> they do. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, that that hit chicks pretty hard. Minivans. There's another one. Chicks got yeah. psyoped. The minivans is just like you love minivans. Love them, man. Yeah. They they tricked girls with crossovers. They're like, no, nah, this isn't a minivan. It's like it's a fucking minivan. It's a fucking minivan. They switched the body of a minivan. Yeah, just like, the nah, front nah, cool. looks it's, like a fucking truck. It's like an SUV kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, like a fucking, pilot, like a Honda Pilot. Minivan. They even smoothed those out a little. The fronts of those. Did they really? Now they're just minivans. They did. The Honda Pilot's nice. Dude, I'm telling you, I, <laughs> minivans are the perfect car. Yeah. Aerodynamic as hell. Three rows. Yeah, what if is you it? crash, you get to kill like nine people. <laughs> <laughs> you take someone's knees out. You can out. take the entire family out with you. True. They're made so someone just flies it right up off your windshield. There have been minivan crashes of entire families at once. Re- oh, like two <laughs> you know families. I mean? no. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like you, your wife, and just four kids in the back, dude. Oh, All yeah. at once, your family's going to Valhalla. For sure. You were For on your sure. way to fucking Myrtle Beach. <laughs> Some truck driver going 80 in the wrong lane. Just fucking your family's done together. I thought about that's that. That's very Pharaoh-esque. Oh, yeah. If I go, my whole family's gone. That's sutty. Because if I die, my wife is going to f- suck someone else's dick. She needs to die with me. Potentially, yes. There's almost no doubt. She's going to eventually suck. Like, depends what age. Dying, depends what age. If I'm sick and dying and I know I'm dying. If my wife comes in to come for me, I'm going to be like, you're a slut already to me. Get out of here. <laughs> you're basically cheating on me already. <laughs> let me see your phone. <laughs> yeah, so, give me, let me see it. Can you imagine if you made it to like 55 and then you died and your wife like in all of like the pearls and shit you bought her suck some 60 year old guy's dick? That's what exactly what happens, dude. You think so? Certainly. Just blow some like loose skin knee. Yeah. And you know what, you know what sucks every time? <laughs> like sea aisle. Yeah, exactly. And you know what sucks is she tries to be faithful. And then her fucking slut friends are like, it's been long enough. It's time for you to get back out. And yeah. Pay. Meanwhile, you're up in heaven like, no, oh. there's probably thunder. That's probably what thunder is. True. It's just the rage of a man <laughs> in heaven. Just like, no, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Just sucking the juice out of some guy with an enlarged prostate. You're getting like fucking crystallized cum. It's like rock candy spitting out of there. (laughs) Yeah. Everybody says that when they're dying. They're like, find a new love. You deserve it. It's like, no, dude, I'm dying. I'm going to be like, don't be a slut. This was it. Yeah, that's it. You don't need dick. Not at all. Be gay. True. You can be gay. That would be preferable. Yeah. Two 60-year-old ladies rubbing all over each other right underneath your picture. That should be the only thing. Underneath it your picture. It has to be under my picture. You got to get like a nice bust Like I'm shot. a dictator. It needs to be me in a suit <laughs> sitting nice. There was grub. You got to go. Exactly. Yeah. So like yesterday, me and Soda went out for lunch and we got it. We shared a plate. Yeah. What? I can't do that. Dude. No. Good. Yeah. That's not it. We yeah. go, Well, that's it. We, we went to a Greek place 
where they that's a thing <laughs> you munched and i was dude I was, so there were two piles of pitas <laughs> i cleared mine quick you know, right. started reaching it. <laughs> not even talking about it just like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else are you doing with your fucking career yeah, yeah, yeah. oh it's so funny. what's that rob zombie movie hills have eyes little fucked up people uh no devil's rejects maybe when house like, of a thousand my the other the other side of the farm all hills the, have eyes is a there yeah. was 10 of them we're talking probably about 320 every Friday on pizza on the low end. Yeah, dude, it was. And my cousin Frank and Joe, you would see the little Domino's wagon pull up. And we were like, I was probably seven or eight. Joe was probably six. Frank was seven. And they were chasing the fucking Domino's car, just going, <laughs> Domino's, Domino's, like beating sweat from you playing were the 21. You were the winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like the Domino's driver must be like, what the fuck was this? It's terrifying. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> the Domino's, they used to call it Domino's and Berber King. The shit used to kill <laughs> Berber King is the best. <laughs> Them screaming because it was always after. Was like, we would play twenty one constantly. Yeah, yeah. And it was just play twenty one until Donimo showed up, <laughs> and then it was just Seagull Fest because we would go over there and mod your shit, and yeah. they would come over to our our it house. Was and our shit. Night, so you kind of kick around away from my aunt Marsh. She'd be like, "Hey, Matt, come in." And be like, yes. was, I just had four slices. Uh, just two more. It was so fucking. Shane, sick. I used to ride my bike. It was like how far how far of a bike ride is that? I used to ride my That's bike. A to that. Six fifteen mile. minute car drive. Yeah. I used to, big. Yeah, you know, I used Five to ride miles, my bike dude. to this. You, get, yeah. you rode your bike to this. Bro, Donimo. it was oh, yeah. stacked. By, you're talking <laughs> two stacks, two columns of boxes from Donimo's. And it'd be like, I swear to God, mortgage every month seven boxes. Yeah. It'd be seven boxes on each side. It was insane how much pizza was going on. Over Holy there. fuck. They're all giant, too. They would drink milk like motherfuckers. Yeah, th three gallons <laughs> yeah. of milk. Yeah. Never yeah, put the milk good. in the fridge, either. The milk was always room temp. That's that's wild. Because they would just get crushed by the end of the day. I also, I'm not saying I was crushing milk like these. But I didn't know you could crush milk like, I didn't know it was weird to crush milk like this. I oh, used to. With dinner? Dude, I would chug milk. I Not that's just dinner. No, I, not just all, dinner. I chug milk, yeah. Chug milk's good. Yeah. All the time. Delicious. Yeah. I used to think milk made my teeth white. I thought, what? I would drink. <laughs> wait, wait. No, my bad. I would. I you would, tell me it doesn't? I would eat, no, it was, I'd rub marshmallows on my teeth and then drink milk. If I ate a lot of shit. candy, I'd rub marshmallows on my teeth and then drink milk. And I'm like, bro, I'm good. I would good. just put marshmallows in milk. I brush my teeth. My teeth are white as hell. I just, I just rubbed white shit. On I rubbed teeth. white shit on my teeth. My teeth are white now. The nastiest shit we did was fucking microwave eggs and bowls before school. That shit was cool, though, making an egg sandwich. We just put egg in a bowl and put milk in it and whip it up and then put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and it would fucking balloon up. Yeah, yeah it would balloon yeah. up and yeah. then balloon down. You get a Thomas bagel and put it on there and grub it. That I was my first time. I, ever I've ever. never even heard of that. <laughs> yeah, that was my first <laughs> time. I, I never ate breakfast. Dominoes, Dominoes, Dominoes. Yeah, my mom would like microwave yourself an egg. You whip up an egg, microwave it, put it on a Thomas bagel, and I would just be like, "This is the most delicious." I've never shit heard ever. of a Tom. Oh, wait, I know Thomas bagel. Thomas English muffins the one with made the bagels. worst thing on them. I yeah, think they the made the English carriage, muffins yeah. and they made the really fly bagels. I didn't know they were munching bagels. Yeah, they're good. Well, that's always the English muffins. That's Monday morning after the Donimo's Fest on yeah. Friday. If there was leftover pizza, that was mega too. Because I would wake up at like nine o'clock in the morning before a football game and just crush a Domino's pizza real quick. Yeah, that, was, that shit ruled. Also, if you catch a three liter mug, three liter mug root beer. No one's looking. I'm going ninety with the two liter, dude. Hoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I remember man. those days. Oh, oh my man. man. I remember chugging out of a two liter oh, soda. Oh my dude. God. Just with the I sweat even, stash. I haven't thought about that <laughs> forever, stash. dude. Oh, it's the best. This, only, a two this only exists in sweat stash territory. <sighs> you remember when Surge came out? That was insane. We only that would get those chaos, at fucking uh, communions and shit and like. <laughs> <laughs> We're perfectly synced. We're synced. Surge was good. I know we can never really fuck with it. We would only have soda after parties. <laughs> All right, let's call it a day. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, right. It's uh, sleepy time. That was a Spot final buzzer. You fall asleep? Oh, I'm chilling. Yeah, that was man. a final buzzer, dude. That's yeah. Good little catch up after everyone's complaining that you guys didn't do a podcast for a week. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's a long boy. This is what we wanted, dude. And that they've been clamoring for some yeah, more mode. True. true. You know, everybody wants more mode. Right. Everybody yeah. wants. Spade to go to fucking Europe. We need that. <laughs> Spade, what are you gonna do over there? I I, I'd I don't like to know. Send you I to mean, Rome, I, dude. No. Send me wherever. Go to Rome, yeah. dude. Don't go to fucking Northern Ireland. I'll Unless you're gonna it. go there and ask about the troubles. 
Well, I want to have Savage on and talk about the troubles because it's pretty interesting because he was born the year that they started. And he's this fucking dude that I've been working with and he's a fucking, you know, it affects you psychologically. Yeah, you need an interpreter yeah. for that, though. I uh, know, nobody can understand Oh, you can him. understand him and interpret at least. Spade can, yeah. I mean, I'm, the I only per- I'm literally the only person that can understand him, so. It's crazy. We can't have him on. Scotland. Scotland's was the most insane fucking accent I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching Scottish Ireland was videos. Ireland was incomprehensible. Scotland was not even close to English. Yeah, there's Jesus. something about the guys, the older guys in Northern Ireland, they mumble. So it's like they had a whole culture like not talking. Mm. So they're real fucking weird. They they quietly mumble with their accent. It's hard to understand. Yeah, so you know what was nice? The dude, uh, we were in the oldest bar in Sydney. That was tight. Which was sick. We closed the bar. Not a big deal. What year? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure. It was old as hell. It, it, but the guy was telling us, he was like, the rumor is, or the legend is, that the reason the Australian accent sounds like that is because everybody, the, there was no currency down there at first. It was just rum. So everyone was just blacked out on Drunk. rum. And so the Australian accent was young kids hearing their parents with English accents shit-faced all the time. And that's how they would talk. They're like, ah, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, it, dude. It like, yeah. And then the kids started talking like it. That makes sense. And that's Pretty how. I, I mean, love that, that shit, dude. That was the that was the rumor. Good share. Yeah. Good share. Yeah, it was an important share. That was fun. Um, Anything else? Or? All right, we'll wrap it up. Nothing I can think of. I have to pee so bad. I have to tinkle also. Yeah. Why don't you take a tinkle? I'm Guys, thank you for listening to the Patreon. Yes. Have a good night. Goodbye.